Hey, Walker. Today we're going to journal page 37, Vertex Form to Standard Form. Steps to transform vertex form to standard form. Step one, find the vertex. Step two, find a point on the parabola. Step three, substitute the vertex and the point into the vertex formula y equals a parentheses x minus a squared plus k. Step four, solve for a. Step five, substitute the vertex and the a value into the vertex formula. Step six, simplify x minus a squared by box method or by foil. Step seven, distribute the a value. Step eight, add the constants. Okay, if you would, complete your notes. Now your notes are complete, let's take a look at the example. All right, general page 37, transform equations from vertex form to standard form. For each graph, write the equation for the quadratic in vertex form. Then transform the vertex form into standard form. Okay, so step one, we need to identify the vertex, which is right here. It looks like that is 1, 1. So h equals 1, k equals 1. Okay, then we need a point. This point looks right here is good. So here's our vertex. Here's our point. Our point is x equals 2, y equals 2. Okay. So now we have our vertex form. So y equals, I'm going to use capital A, parentheses x minus h squared plus k. Now, this should be a lowercase a, but my lowercase a's look like 9, so I'm going to use a capital A so there's no confusion in the video, okay? All right, so now we're going to substitute hk and x and y into this equation. So y is 2, so that's 2 equals a, parentheses, x is 2, minus h is 1, squared, plus k is 1. Okay, so then that's 2 equals, well, 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1, so that's 1a plus 1. Well, subtract 1 from both sides. 1 equals a. Okay. Now that we have the a value, we're going to substitute that into the equation along with h and k. So our equ equation in vertex form is y equals 1, parentheses, x minus 1 squared plus 1. Okay. All right, now we're going to find take this equation and find it in standard form or convert it to standard form. Okay, so we we'll start with that. Y equals 1, parentheses, X minus 1 squared plus 1. So now X minus 1 squared is X minus 1 times X minus 1 and then plus 1. Now, you notice we just ignored the 1 because 1 times anything is itself, okay? Now, we're going to FOIL this, so that's y equals x times x is 1x squared. x times negative 1 is negative 1x. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1, and then we have to add 1 at the end, okay? Now, we simplify. Well, we combine these terms and combine these terms. So then y equals 1x squared. Negative 1x and negative 1x is minus 2x. And then 1 plus 1 is plus 2. Okay.
So go ahead and finish up example one. All right, now let's take a look at example two. Find the equation in vertex form. So first thing you need to do is identify the vertex, which is here, so that H is one, K is, it looks like five, and then we need a point. Well, this point right here looks pretty good. So there's a point. So that's X equals zero and y equals 2. Okay, so now we have y equals, we're going to use the vertex formula, so y equals a, parentheses x minus h squared plus k. So now we're going to substitute the h, k, x, and y so we can solve for a. So y is 2, so it's 2 equals a, parentheses x, which is 0, minus h, which is 1, squared, plus k is 5. Okay, so then that's 2 equals 0 minus 1 is negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1, so that's 1a, equals, or I'm sorry, well, not equals, plus 5, okay, subtract 5 from both sides, you get negative 3 equals A, okay, now we're going to substitute the A value into the vertex form and the H and K, so that's Y equals negative 3, parentheses X minus 1 squared plus 5. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to write this equation in standard form. So we start with that. So y equals negative 3, parentheses, x minus 1 squared plus 5. Okay, so then that's y equals negative 3 times x minus 1 times x minus 1 plus 5. Now we need to foil the x minus 1 times x minus 1, so that's y equals negative 3. x times x is 1x squared. x times negative 1 is negative 1x. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1, and then plus 5. Now we're going to distribute the negative 3. So that's y equals negative 3x squared, positive 3x, plus 3x, minus 3, plus 5. Combine terms. That's y equals negative 3x squared. 3x and 3x is plus 6x. And then negative 3 and 5 is plus 2. Okay, go ahead and finish up example 2. All right. Now example 3, transform each quadratic in vertex form to standard form. So we have y equals, we need to, it has negative 2 times x minus 5 times x minus 5 minus 8. And then we need to FOIL this, so that's y equals negative 2. x times x is 1x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25 minus 8. Okay, then you let's distribute the negative 2, so it's negative 2x squared, positive 10x, positive 10x, minus 50, minus 8. 
Let's combine terms. So that's y equals negative 2x squared. 10x and 10x is plus 20x. And negative 50 and negative 8 is negative 50 or minus 58. All right, go ahead and finish up example three. All right, example four. Okay, so then that's y equals one fourth. That's x plus four times x plus four minus nine. Now we need to foil the x plus four, x plus four. So that's y equals one fourth, one x squared plus four x plus 4x plus 16 minus 9. Now we need to distribute the 1 fourth, so that's y equals 1 fourth x squared. 1 fourth times 4x is plus 1x plus 1x. 16 times 1 fourth is plus 4 and then minus 9. So y equals 1 divided by 4 x squared. 1x plus 1x is plus 2x. And then 4 minus 9 is minus 5. OK, go ahead and finish that up and start working on your assignment. And have a wonderful Wildcat day.